Hi, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to do a Tony video and I'm going to make it uh, texts. So I'm going to show you how to use texts on Toonly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down to the text tab here and it'll show you the five different types of text animations. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the first one, which is smooth text. I'm going to drag that across onto the scene area and it comes up like that and you've got this resizing handle here and you've got a rotation handle for to rotate the text like that. you can rotate it that way or the other way so clockwise or anti-clockwise or counterclockwise as the Americans would say um, as well as that settings on here is just um, delete and remove and save that's all it is um, I assume that's there for future uh, use in case I want to add anything. Um, flip, you can flip the text around so it's uh, like a mirror image of what it is. So it's like that, right? Um, you got a foreground and a background one which you use on when you've got other things on there as well. And that's just delete to delete the text anyway. So if you wanted to delete it, you just click on that all you can do right now what I'll do is I'll get another smooth text um, text file there and what I'm going to do is on the first one I'm going to change the color so I'll do over here when you've um, actually got a text box selected right this common text settings comes up on the right if it's not selected it disappears and you get the scene back on so you have to cl click on one to get the common text settings on uh, the content is the actual text itself so you can change the text but it's only one line length so you can only have it in one line so you know you can you can change that and make it something else if you want to right um, as well as that there's the font right beneath it which is the robot regular which is the um, default one and they've got there's other ones there but I've added some myself you can do if you go right down to the bottom of this uh, slider here at the bottom you've got upload custom so you can click on that and upload uh, a custom um, one that you might like let's try Osranga I've only seen that one let's try that one so we open that one in a minute just waiting for me uh, external hard drive to kick in which does take a bit of time sometimes. Uh, once that's done, so we just have the regular, shall we? Yeah. We'll just have the regular one. Just put that one in. And that's a uh, true type font. So we just save and upload. Then you have to go back onto the actual font, the uh, text box itself. And then go to your one that you've just added. And there you go that's the uh, rang Ranga regular right let's change the other one the same as well let's change that to Ranga regular as well right so they ain't different a minute there you go right so they're both the same now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the bottom one's content to something else so so I've done that because I wanted to make sure I've got a longer piece on the one side because I need to do uh, uh, show you something when I do uh, show you the animation for it um, I should have showed you the animation first anyway but never mind I'll do it in a minute um, there is also um, the next thing I've got to show you on there is like the font size beginning and the font size ending so you can either font bigger or smaller at the beginning if you want to and then have it come in or go out whichever way you want to do it like so let me let me just do that with this one let's take it right up like that and then this one right down like that to 10 right so if we do that we'll go to the beginning and play it and that's what will happen we'll go whoa, right down 
right so you could do that if you wanted to right so that was just me just showing you what it does really basically so I'll do about 108 or something, something like that probably that one 98 this one's got to go 98 there's a little bit it's close enough ain't it? 97 yeah that'll do then we're close enough to each other right now um, that's what them do you got the next thing down is underlays opacity so it's got an underlay on it already and at the moment it's invisible so if you pull it across the underlay is white on this one at the moment but you can change the colour anyway so at the moment it's semi transparent so if you go over there you can see the other text behind it right or if you go fully so it's, it's completely solid then you won't see the other text behind it I can see right so that's what the opacity does so you can just take that off or we can put it in the middle and now let's show, show you the underlay colour change you can change colour like that pink we do that and have it like that so it'd be a bit less strange and that whatever you know and padding is making it bigger um, thicker maybe you know all round thicker so there you go that's what the padding does so you just thickens the underlay so you get it a bit wider around the actual uh, text that you've got so that's what you do with that right now special text settings is the color for the text itself which you can change that to any color you want like white for example and the duration in and the duration out it affects the animation that you're doing right so what you do is we'll we'll just do the animation as it's supposed to be first and let's see what happens with it how it's supposed to work see see how that one just come up and that one hasn't done anything well, what I'll do I'll just, let's just remove that and put one back in right now I'm gonna change that one to be the same as the other one again and I'm gonna change the name on it because obviously I've messed about with it the other one before so I'm gonna redo this one for you and I'm going to put a different um, word in it so right so that's it right now because I, I, I messed with the other one uh, with the um, font size and that it don't do anything you know with its um, animation so I want to make sure that this one's a different one and I haven't messed with the font size at all so hopefully we should be okay with it and it, it should both do an animation right so we're going to just check whether the animation is exactly the same for both or whether it's going to be different right now the animation for the bottom one was completely different so what I need to do is double the size of the duration and triple the size of the duration out right and then I'm going to drag the other text to the same length on there now let's go back to the beginning and try it again and see what happens now they're actually moving in the same direction same kind of way right so that's what I did right so let me get back on that and show you I doubled the duration in and trebled the duration out to get on working in the same kind of animation right and I use I done it to the longer text not the shorter text on this one but it might be different for you you might have to do it with a shorter text where you bring the duration in or the duration out in a bit more rather than the other way you know you might have to fiddle about with it and do something different to what I've done but it's, it's them two that you have to deal with when you have an animation problem where one animation is working one way and another animation is working a different way of the same text type you know so, so if, if both smooth text and both should be working in the same way 
so if you want to sort it out so that that happens with longer text fields you have to mess around with the duration and duration out until you get it right basically right so that's that one right now if you have a look on the timeline at the text sorry at the text bar you'll see that I have handles on them as well like you do on your characters and your objects right now the front handle is the one where it's the beginning of where the text is right and the end one will be where the text ends so let's end the text over here and let's turn it round like that a bit so it, it might do a little bit of a twirl so what we'll do is we'll just be back to the beginning obviously there ain't what's it in so I'm going to move that there and move this across there a bit so right now we'll we'll try again now to see how that goes and see if it does a lot of uh, rotations or whether it does just one big rotation and there we go one big rotation I think that's what it's doing and obviously because the other animations on it it's done that animation as well so that's what you can do you can do things like that with it you can um, make it go faster by um, bringing that in and have the actual action work much quicker so hopefully we'll see we'll see what that, what that does it should go a bit quicker yeah it's going quicker you can see it's going quicker straight away like that yeah obviously you know you've got to mess around with them and that's what them handles are for you got you got the one on the left hand side that's for the start point and the, the other handle is the end point right so you mess about with them do whatever you want to do with them and change it you know have fun with it that's what you need to do right that's that one smooth text now slidey text is slightly different and let me show you how that one goes let's start at the beginning click on there let's just show you how it goes at the minute I just bumps in like that like a little uh, jumpy motion going towards the S and then it sort of fades out back to the Y so let's have a look at that again so we add more words to that and see how it goes right or shall we just have, have another one lower down right let's do let's have a look at both of them together first right okay right now let's put that back let's just click on that one and let's change that to something else like um, So let's have a look at that in a minute and see how see if there's a difference now. If there might be. So let's just check that out first. Alright, so we'll do that. Yeah, that one was going what's it this seems to be much much uh, dif more different, isn't it? Look. I think we needed to slow this one down a bit maybe. Let's just have a look. Because you could see the single letters coming on the slidey, whereas on the hop you couldn't, could you? Let's do it again. Right, yeah. Let's try something else with a help one. Right. Right. Let's click on that one. Duration in double. We'll try that. And duration out treble. Right. Let's try that and see if that works before we do anything else. Right, so we'll try that. Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah, we've got them coming in that way. And that's going out that way, and that one's going out that way. So that works for that one as well, right? But if you have a look on here, you'll see other things as well. Um, you've got the normal font and the font size beginning and the font size end, so you can change the size as you're going through. You've got the underlay's opacity as well, so you can add the underlay as well. 
but in the special text settings you've got duration in duration out as you would have your colour as you usually have but you've got something called smoothness now what the smoothness does is it makes the jumpiness not so jerky as, as the, the further you go out the more smoother it is the further you go this side to the left the more jerky it is I'll show you that now in a minute watch it'll be very very jerky that one Alright, so we'll just try it again and let's have a look. See, sort of like that. It was a bit too much, wasn't it, really? So, you know, that's what you need to mess about with it. It's too jerky, it's going too quick. Check it out a bit like that, and then it might be okay. That's a bit better, yeah. So, don't, don't do it too much either, because if you do it too much, it just won't work at all. Let's, let's show you the other side that way right now back try it again see you can barely see any any bumping at all there that was too too smooth <laughs> you know you have to have uh, somewhere mid-range you know like that somewhere around there okay right so that's that one the slidey text works much the same way there ain't much difference with that uh, marching this one is a, a lovely text thing it doesn't have the um, the special settings of um, duration in duration out but it does have extra colors because of the way it's been built basically so uh, you can change the colors to whatever you want uh, you can have similar colors and now you make for a, a nice uh, decorative thing on the side of buses and things like that. I've used it on the side of a bus on one of my animations. Or you can use it on all sorts of things. It could be uh, like a, a logo for a, a new shop or something, you know, like that. But it, oh, I love it. I do that one. Oh, I love that one. But uh, there ain't a lot you can I can tell you about that except for that really. So all the rest of the stuff is the same with the, as with the others. It, there's just not um, duration and duration out. It's just those kind of actions, but uh, you can get it moving as well by using the handles at the bottom as well. So that's that basically. So uh, I think I've covered that now. Right, um, Joy Together is an unusual one, but uh, we'll go for it now. Let me just show you its animation to start off with before I do anything else. So that's the animation as it is. And it sort of drops out at the end. You know what I'll do is I'll add another one below it and change it to a bigger sentence. Right, so there we go. Right, so you go something like that. Right. With this one, you could change the colours to a different colour like that. So I've got purple on that one, and the other colours red. So it makes it nice. You know, you can do different things with it. Let's see how it's running, whether it's running the same as the other one or not. So let's start at the beginning and try it again. Now the second one didn't work, did it? Not properly. So let's try that. Try the same thing as we do with the others. Double, treble. Right, so, and then we'll pull that one to match it up so it's the same length. Right, let's try it again. Yeah, that works the same way. Much the same way as. Right, so, that's, that's the best way of just doing that sort of thing. So, um, that's what we can do with that. Uh, there is a letters delay on here. I haven't tried that, so we'll let's we'll have a look at that, shall we? Let's do a longer letter delay on that one, and let's see what happens. Okay, right. So let's try that. Ah, yeah, that changed it completely. And the letter delay seems to be longer, so you don't want to mess with that one <laughs> unless you really have to, I suppose. If you need to, just mess with it, you know. But. I'll just mess with it and it just screwed it up completely for me, so 
that's better now back, I'll put it back right I need to just to keep nice and steady on that one so you know what to do with them it's basically the same thing really and you got the just that letters the is a separate one so you can make them uh, take a bit longer or you can make them a bit shorter that's all so that's what that means really so you can do that and spread me usually works all right anyway but I'll just try it out for you there spread me right and I'll show you what that one does in a minute there you go and spreads out a little bit let's get another one on there and I'll just put some extra words on there a bit longer so let's do that right so let's try them together same time and see if there's a difference in them no there's no difference in them at all so that's pretty good so but yeah I've got a duration duration in and out in case you need to change them on there but it doesn't seem to affect that one at all really so that one's okay so hopefully I've helped you uh, to understand about uh, how to use texts in Toonly and I would like you to please like and subscribe to my channel if you can if you've enjoyed this uh, video please let me know and leave a comment down below or even a suggestion on new tutorials as well okay thank you very much and have a good day